you people. This is actually the third time that I'm recording our Pokemon Showdown uh, Season 3, Episode 2, The Weather Season. All weather, all season uh, episode. Because the first two times I recorded it, the game and the webcam kept freezing up. And I want to give you guys better quality stuff than that. Um, I'm not re-recording this simply because I suffered one completely horrible and terrible loss and one pretty okay win and two kind of close losses um, that's not what I'm about I really just want an episode where the webcam and the game don't freeze up on me and if it does it again I am going to save the battles this time so I can at least do a play by play over them um, so let's go ahead, let's go over who is on our team, what we're working with for these battles. But before I do that, I want to remind you guys, if we can get 10 likes on this video, we will have a bonus episode of the Chain Lock next week. Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this. I come out with an episode of this every week with either a team introduction or two battles. So let's go ahead and take a look at Tough Mudder the Swampert, holding the Swampertite with the Damp ability. He has Waterfall, Ice Punch, Earthquake, and Super Power. Uh, gets Swift Swim when he Mega Evolves, so he's going to be one of our Rain Sweepers. We have Cloud the Politoed with holding the Damp Rock with Drizzle, so that'll extend the duration of Rain. He has Encore, Ice Beam, Scald, and Rest. We have Thor the Zapdos with Rocky Helmet and Pressure. He has Thunder, Roost, Defog, and Air Cutter. And we have Bandito the Ludicolo with Leftovers, Rain Dish, Rain Dance, Toxic, Giga Drain, and Scald. Rain Dish combined with Leftovers, he's going to be getting about 12%-ish of his HP back every turn. Which is pretty awesome for our special wall. Our other special wall is Gudra, Sploosh the Gudra with Leftovers, Hydration, Thunder, Rest, Substitute, and Toxic, Hydration. In the rain, he's going to get any statuses cured same turn that they occur, uh, assuming we can time it well and keep it in the rain. Uh, and the final member of our team, we have Chillax the Bear Tick, holding the Life Orb with Swift Swim. Um, Play Rough, Icicle Crash, Night Slash, and Swords Dance. Let's go ahead, track ourselves down a battle, and get this episode started. Hopefully going a little better than what we have. Um, my opponent has an Azumarill, a Rotom Wash, a Therothorn, a Gligar, a most likely Mega Sableye and a Weavile. So that is a scary team. Um, the Azumarill could be trouble for us, uh, especially since. Never mind, forget about that. Our opponent left. I guess he must not like rain teams or something like that. So let's try and find a different battle. Obviously, that doesn't count as one of our two for today. Okay, we're going up against a Gardevoir, most likely a Mega Gardevoir, a Bisharp, a Rotom Wash, Talonflame, Excadrill, and Landris Therian. It's a lot of really scary mods on this team. Um, Tough Mudder will do pretty good against this team. Baratic will be pretty good. I kind of want to leave with Ludicolo and see what happens here. Okay, so they lead with the Bi Sharp. I'm going to set up a Rain Dance. I can see that Bi Sharp setting up with Sword Stance, possibly. Or going straight up for the knockoff. That's, uh, that's not good for us at all. I'm going to Scald him. Maybe I should Giga Drain. I'm going to Giga Drain. I need the HPs. And he does go for that sword stance now. Kind of wishing I'd gone for Scald. Um, let's go for Scald, see if we can't get a burn off. I can get the feeling he's not going to get uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? He's not going to get greedy. He's just going to get even. Uh, Zai Sharp most likely will outspeed. You are a Dark Steel type. Let's go for Earthquake. That did way too much damage. Uh, I think we could be in serious trouble. I expect that. Uh, what's his face to come out? The Talon Flame, Gale Wings, Brave Bird. We see that. I'm definitely going to switch into Zapdos. That is what we see coming out. I'm switching into Zapdos to take this Brave Bird because he is bulky. See right there, that did not do so much to us. And there's the Rocky Helmet and Recoil. Uh, the rain, unfortunately, has stopped. I'm going to go for a Thunder here. And, of course, that Excadrill did a very good job of, you know, just sucking up that electricity, which I missed, or I got it even in the rain, or without the rain I hit it, which, you know, totally sucks. Um, Stealth Rocks is going to be problematic. I'm going to go for a... He's going to outspeed me, right? Yeah, totally. I'm going for Scald. Against a Rotom Wash. Did I get the burn? No, no burn. Um, I do not know what you want to go for. But I can tell you this. Cloud is too valuable to risk getting a uh, Volt Switched on. Or burned. Which that'll go away on Gudra. Goodbye. Uh, I'm gonna drop the Thunder here. Or should I go for Toxic? Yeah, Thunder. I get the feeling my opponent's probably gonna switch out. Oh, he went for Volt Switch. And let's see here. Maybe he's going to switch into that Gardevoir? Yep, the Gardevoir. Uh, which is bad news for us. Unfortunately, Gudra is our special wall, so there's really not a whole ton that we can do. She's going to Mega Evolve. Pixelate, Hyper Voice. It's going to do a lot of damage to anyone I switch in. I gotta go for Toxic. Like I said, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Um... Sadly, Gudra, with two electric types or two ground types left, you are the least valuable member of this team. I hate to say it. Uh, Tough Mudder. We should outspeed. Let's go for a waterfall. Nothing's immune to that. It doesn't do much to the Rotom but he's not immune to it. Um, I guess let's go for the superpower. Hope that takes his Rotom out, and we are going to have to switch out after this, unfortunately. Um, we definitely need to get into Thor and get a Defog going. I not sure that we're going to be able to win this fight, to be honest. I think our team is pretty battered. And unfortunately, there just isn't a whole... That didn't even do that much to Rotom. So yeah, that's uh, 
guess our only hope now is chillax. Uh, I'm going to go for a roost here. Not exactly sure what this Rotom wants to do. Volt switch, okay. Out comes the Lando. I'm going to go for a Defog here. Fortunately, that lander is missed. Um, go on air cutter. Sadly, I think even if we get the rain set up and get a bear tick sweep going, that talent flame will most likely be able to end it pretty easily. But we will have to see. Um, gosh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I want to keep Thor around. I'm going to roost. I'm going to risk him being completely accurate with that stone edge. Okay, Polytoad. Let's go for Ice Beam here. See what that Landers wants to do. I could see it switching out into that Rotom. I could see it knocking us off. But we did take the Landers out, so that's one less Pokemon for us to worry about. Excadrill is definitely going to outspeed us. I'm going for Scald. We survived on two. And we took out the Excadrill. So the good news is, we're taking out a lot of my opponent's team with this Politoed. The bad news is, unfortunately, he's, um, the ones that we really need to worry about are the ones that are still left. So he goes out into his Gardevoir. Chillax. We don't have time to set up Swords Dances, I don't think. Uh, we'll set up one Swords Dance. We'll see what this Gardevoir wants to do. Hyper Voice. Okay. Yeah, we lose to Talonflame, unfortunately. Literally. Oh. We lose to Life Orb, actually. Ah. Uh. Bicycle crash. Let's go play rough. And that really, really is unfortunate. It was a close battle. We literally killed ourselves. Um, probably made a few bad choices. Uh, that, that was just a really tough team to go up against, in my opinion. I'm sure some of you could have pulled it off with what we had. Um, and this is also a scary looking team. An Ampharos, an Archaeops, Azumarill, uh, Delphox, a Donphan, and a Weavile. So it's most likely a Mega Ampharos. Um, Donphan is there with an electric immunity. And he's most likely a Stealth Rock Setter and a Spinner. Spinner doesn't really matter to me too much. Um, Politoed would be good against three out of the four. So I'm going to lead off with... Well, Bandito would be good against four of the five, six. So I'm going to lead off with Bandito. Not exactly the best choice. Um... I see a Mega Evolution coming our way, followed by probably something scary, so I'm going to go for a Toxic. There's the Mega Evolution. He got him toxic and he did a Volt Switch. Okay. I can see that Azumarill coming out on us. And if that's the case, I'm going to assume it's going to go for Belly Drum. I'm gonna do a Giga Drain. Yeah, speed even out of the rain. 
Oh, play rough. Holy cow. Um, let's do Thor. And let's go for Thunder on this Don fan. Isn't it lovely? Uh, I'll go for Air Cutter. See if we can't flinch him out. Nope. Can't flinch him out. I'm going for Defog. This is literally the reason why I left Thor in. Because I had a feeling those Stealth Rocks were going to be coming. And now they're gone. So I'll go for another Air Cutter. Maybe we can get the flinch this time? Nope, no flinch. Air Cutter. I could see that Don Fan going for Stealth Rocks again. Or possibly switching out. He chose to switch out. So, I'm going to go for Defog again. I can see another Volt Switch coming, which is exactly what we get. And are you going to go back into the Don Fan? Maybe into the Azumaru? Maybe... Archeops wouldn't be the worst switch. It gets that powerful stab rock in here. Uh, but it is a flying type. So, let's see here. The Weavile. Oh, you're definitely going to outspeed me. I'm going for, I'm going for the Ice type attack. Most likely Icicle Crash. I'm going to switch in the Cloud. He goes for knockoff. Okay. Um, oh gosh, what do I do here? I can't go out on the sploosh. Can't lose my rain setter because then I'll lose the whole focus of my team. Tough Mudder will take two attacks before he can get one off. I guess let's go back on the Thor and hope we can take whatever's coming our way. I'm really sorry, Thor. I did not want to lose you like this. We'll go out into our Tough Mudder. We're going to Mega Evolve. And... Let's go for an Earthquake. That should do lots of damage. So it's a Life Orb Weavile. And down it goes. Um, Azumarill would probably be its best switch in against me. And he goes for the Archaeops. This waterfall should... Archaeops outspeeds? Really? Okay. Um, I go for an Ice Punch. I knew he was going to switch out. This should still do a lot of damage to Archaeops, which it does. Uh, I knew that he was trying to bait out the Earthquake there. I was not going to have any of that. How did Azumarill take out my thingamajig, my bob? My my bob. I'm going to play rough. Holy cow! That is broken! I betcha he's choice banded. Which means sploosh would be a bad idea. I'm going sploosh. So we're going to lose this anyway. Uh, so I'm going for a Thunder. He's either going to switch out here, probably into that Don fan to take my Thunder. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm going Toxic. Substitute would literally be a terrible idea. Let's go for another substitute. What? Well, we 
We officially lost both of today's battles. Which makes me sad. And I totally forgot to save the replay for the first one, so I might be doing another one all over again. Scald. We got speed. And we got the burn. So, what we found out here is that clearly Azumarill should have been on our, uh, our water rain team. Because it's a water type. And apparently it's insanely powerful. Especially huge power choice band. I'm assuming that was choice banded, Azumarill. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say. It seems like what may have been a mistake having Thunder be Gudra's only attacking move. I'm sure there's plenty of you at home sitting there shouting at your computers about how foolish it was to do that. Um, and I totally understand, guys. I totally hear you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I did the best I could. At least I think I did. Although I'm supposed to have slowed down and thought through my moves a little more. Things may have turned out a little differently. But, um... That's about all for today's episode. I have to go and work on getting this edited to get it ready for uh, for Saturday. It's, got, it's coming up in two days. So uh, you guys have yourselves a great day. Thank you for checking it out. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you want to see better battles in the future. And don't forget, we are Borkins in Gaming. We are professional amateurs. That's what's clearly evident in that battle.